Welcome, 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 welcome to Why Cookie. So who thinks this is just a cookie? Because we know it's so much more. So why participate in the cookie program? Cookie program obviously sets our young women up for incredible success. 70% of female US senators were Girl Scouts and 80% of female American entrepreneurs were Girl Scouts and almost all of female astronauts were Girl Scouts. All who participated in the cookie program. And before we go on with the why, let's take a moment to thank you. You, the caregiver, the volunteer, because without you, our girls, your girls, our humans cannot participate in this program. So let's talk about the real why that lives inside that box of cookies. She gets to see the world because of her own hard work and these two hands. She gets to learn to grow in goodness because the world opens up for her because through participation in the cookie program, she was able to fund travel. She was out in the community and met other people. And in order to shut down prejudice and shut down preconceived notions, we have to see the world and be part of the community. The cookie program allows for opportunities, opportunities as simple as trying new foods. Because when you're out in the community and when you're traveling, you're having those experiences. She gets to be a part of changing lives because a box of cookies that is donated means more than we could ever write into words or even put into words. That care package that goes to that young man or woman serving our country and it's the first package or letter they've received and it's a, a thank you note written by a daisy in a box of cookies or the Ronald McDonald house where families are so desperate and so worried about their child but there's a box of cookies in the cupboard and that cookie reminds them of childhood and that moment that it's going to be okay these things happen from the cookie again the traveling will allow you to visit world centers our world centers, because we are part of a larger, greater sisterhood, 50 million strong across the world between Girl Scouting, Girl Guides, and the WAGS Association. For our girls that have never seen the ocean, she gets to do that through cookie rewards and or again from funding her own travel. She gets to find new love because once you've traveled, you get that bug. You get to create memories, riding a horse for the first time, or maybe going to Hogwarts, or seeing Saturn, or using a binoculars. These, again, these simple things to us as adults are everything to our children. Through the Girl Scout Cookie Program, our girls are able to afford programming, like attending national cybersecurity, community involvement, Hanging out with a superhero and superheroes are not just Batman and Wonder Woman. They're you in this busy world where we live on this phone and we're constantly plugged in at a cookie booth. You're not, you're present and they get to have conversation with you. In this busy world, sometimes that two hours at that cookie booth is what they remember when they grow up. Those moments, those moments that we don't have very often anymore. You get to help Mother Earth because through her community service that she is doing, again, funded by the cookie program, she gets to help bring change. Sometimes through her bronze, silver, or gold award project that she funded completely with the proceeds her troop earned through cookies. You get to again touch the sky and visit with important people, build robots, thank a hero, climb to the top of a volcano find a new passion, learn new skills, and be the future our littles are looking up to. And then there's those in unforgettable moments that never leave them. They get to make a difference because we teach, reduce, reuse, recycle with all of our paperboard. We teach our girls how to lead, how to rescue, we fill their hearts. Where can a cookie take you? Where can a cookie take them? Anywhere, absolutely anywhere. And this is the point of the cookie. It teaches them to believe 
that everything and anything is possible with hard work because cookies are hard. There's no other way to put it. But isn't life that way? And isn't it teaching our girls that when you have a goal and a dream, you have to work for it? This business program is the most reality-based program I can think of that our girls have the opportunity to participate in, grow to be functioning members of society who truly understand work ethic. Don't we want that for our girls? So why did the cookies matter? If none of that other stuff mattered, because believing you are enough is the foundation we need her to stand on. And because knowing she can succeed against all odds matters. Because learning that you do not stand alone matters. And because knowing that stumbling and falling is not failure, it's the not getting up. Cookies teach her to stand, stand back up and stand on her own two feet. And because knowing that success is measured by your investment in yourself, your community, and those around you. That's what makes us well-rounded adults. And because dreams are important, but if you want to make them a reality, you have to make an effort. And we cannot have our Girl Scouts not understand that. Effort creates a functioning society of dreamers, doers, and go-getters. And because she's going to make the greatest friends, the friends that she will have forever, because the friends that you work really, really hard with are the friends that you have forever. End of story and truth. And because learning you are exceptional is something that nobody can take from you. When you put effort into dream, goal, execution to reality, this is the form of project management which becomes ingrained in you. You learn you can do exceptional things when you're willing to put forth the effort. And that is a life skill. One of my favorite little uh, memes, excellence is never an accident. It is the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. Here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, and may we raise them. And we can also say, here's to strong humans. May we know them. May we be them. And may we raise them. So where do we fit in as the adults in all of this? Together, obviously, we achieve more. Girls who receive assistance, support, and encouragement from fam families always have greater success than girls that don't. That's you. That's the caregiver, that's the volunteer, that's the leader, that's the community partner. That's all of us helping raise this incredible human. So what is our role in this? Well, obviously we set the tone. When you lose hope, they lose hope. Even the most inspired young entrepreneur can lose their belief when those whom they admire the most give up. And I like to use this reminder. Where do our children learn to curse? Yes, the back seat of the car, because we're driving and we get cut off in traffic. And then, you know, bleep, bleep, bleep. This is where they learn that. Well, isn't that the same of when you give up hope? Because, you know, you're exhausted, you have so much going on, and you say, oh, I can't sell another one of those cookies. Well, they love you so much that they then will change their, their goals and their dreams to make it okay for you. But if we have decided that in this six week period, we are committed to a goal, why are we giving up, up on it halfway through? Didn't we just tell her that when things get hard, we run? That's not what we want to do. So we must set the tone. Always. It's okay to be honest. It's okay to say I'm tired. It's absolutely necessary to take a break. That's what days off are for. But then you get back in it and you give it all you've got until you cross that finish line. Success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. Cookie is as cookie does. And I like to use this all the time. You get out what you put in. So if you go in it with this, you know, yeah, there's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot to do. And if the whole time it's like, oh, it's going to be like that. It's going to be drudgery for you. But if you remember, you are standing on a mountain of dreams. 
then you remember that that mountain was really hard because you had to climb it. She had to climb it. They had to climb it. You don't get to the top of that mountain just by getting dropped off there. You got to do the hard work to get to the top. So it's a mountain of dreams. So how do you stay informed so that you can be on that mountain of dreams? Well, if you are not in the loop, it is very difficult. And how do you get in the loop? Are you on our council Facebook? Are you on our council website? Are you receiving the council caregiver newsletters? Are you going to your service unit meetings? Those are all the places that you get informed. Our Facebook, it's really easy to get to. It is just Girl Scouts, S-O-A-Z, Southern Arizona. This is where we drop programming, information, training, links. So always follow this one in addition to your local Facebook for your service unit. Then we have our website, again, super easy to find, Girl Scouts, S-O-A-Z dot org. If you just type in Girl Scouts of Southern Arizona website, this will also pop up. And if you look, you've got these tabs across the top. Join us, programs and events, families, camp, cookies, volunteers, our council. You click on those tabs and all these extra pages will open up for you. You can find whatever you're looking for. Latest information on the cookie program, when the camp is, uh, registration is going to go open. Did you know that you can volunteer on your service unit team? Even if you're not a leader, like if you're an event planner for your job, doesn't it just make sense to volunteer as the service unit events manager so that you can help put on program locally for your girls? Of course it does. But people don't know that we have these opportunities for these volunteer leadership positions in every one of our service units. Well, that would just be right there in that four volunteers tab. This is how we stay in the loop. So did you know that 80% of each box sold stays right here in our council? 80% of that box directly affects your Girl Scouts, either directly or indirectly. With 20% of that box going to the baker, 66 going to the girls via the troop, and then 14% to the council. It breaks down very cleanly. At no point in time, does it make any sense that people say that council is getting rich off the cookie and off the backs of girls because that is absolute lie and misinformation. Fact checks are all about understanding how the cookie crumbles. Rewards plus cookie dough plus troop credit is all part of what those rewards are. So when doing your girl parent planning, don't forget that within that, the troops must establish their own reward levels as well. So you've got councils rewards from the cookie sale, but where are yours? So again, I like to use that map analogy or a ladder. You know, you can't get to the top of the ladder unless you climb the rungs. Well, if your girl's goals are to hit like the 500 box level for cookies, did you set up internal things? Like, you know, if everybody's sold the first two cases of cookies, we're all going out for ice cream or has everybody hits 400 boxes sold, we're gonna have a secret slumber party at the leader's house, like internal rewards that go along with council's rewards that complement one another. Selling cookies earns your true proceeds. Those proceeds pay for a year of programming. What does that programming look like? Did you know that you're supposed to, number one, always re-register your girls? Number two, what's your community service? Number three, what's your higher rewards? and program gonna look like, and then number four, what is the fun activities you're gonna do? And in that girl-led environment, they are creating that entire budget that goes along with it. Are you part of a girl-led troop? This is what that looks like. Again, as I spoke about earlier, with daisies, they're only running 10% of their troop. Ambassadors, they're basically at 100% other than those small pieces that you, the leader, need to do. Progression is important. Setting goals leads to success. If you don't have the goal set for your troop, it is again gonna feel so confusing and so overwhelming. This is our role within this girl-led experience is helping them to sit down and work on what their goals are, their budget, their plan of action. And then it's our responsibility if they wanna work a hundred booths 
that we set up a calendar and all of us support them by being the adults that they need at that booth. So dur during girl parent training, talk about the why. Why are you selling cookies? The what? What are they reaching for? Talk about the math, such as the number of boxes and hours at a booth. Uh, are you gonna go through the family guide referring repeatedly to the girl's goals? And then do you have a girl-led goal sheet you know, that speaks about the brainstorming, the research, the, the voting on the activities, the budgeting, the presentation and plan to adults, the working towards your goals, and then finally the goals. Again, that standing on that mountain of dreams or that iceberg in the water. Girl-led planning, I cannot, cannot speak to you enough about the progression. This is all part of that why cookies. Together, we can achieve more and we know that. Some really fun ideas to jazz up the cookie program for you. Have you ever thought about adopting a daisy troop? It is fun for older girls, the khaki crew, to get to have a daisy at their booth. They are teaching that daisy how to truly work this program. The daisy is learning from the person she looks up to, the older girls. This also helps during those slower periods. A, it's not so boring because you've got this sweet little daisy. B, we know daisies bring people to the table. The older girls then have greater opportunity for success during those slower periods. Fun fact, did you know that older girls have a higher PGA than the littles? But when you put that together, you've got girl-led planning via girl-led learning in a hands-on approach. It's a win-win. Support your Girl Scout. The world is changed by your example not your opinion. This goes back to the cookie is as cookie does. During cookies is when we tend to get a little bit um, cantankerous, if you will, a little prickly. And we tend to say things on Facebook that we shouldn't be saying, or we say things behind people's backs that we shouldn't be saying. That's not a part of the why cookies. This is just a reality of sometimes we need a deep breath and a reminder. So when we get to this part of the cookie program and we have forgotten all the beautiful reasons of why, I need you to take a really deep breath and then blow that out remembering what was my Girl Scouts goal? What is my girl's troop goal? What is my independent Juliet's goal? And why am I here to support her? And then delete that thing you were gonna put on social media before you hit post. This is a real thing that happened on social media. It is called cyberbullying. So again, you know, I'm not gonna go chapter and verse through this, but this doesn't touch on the why of cookies. This touches on the reason why people don't wanna do cookies. So when we lead by example, again, when do our children learn to curse? Same thing with how we handle things. Conflict resolution is a face-to-face -face issue. It isn't on a social media channel. Or like this meme says, mm, I can see you're upset. Maybe you should post more about it on Facebook. That should help eliminate any drama. Those silly memes, let's just remember those. And never give up. No matter how much, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Life throws at you. When we breathe and pause and remember the why, the life lessons that come from this incredible program really become the foundation she stands on. Obviously guide her, help her grow, encourage her success. Remember our older girls, our khaki crew, have a harder time out when they're selling cookies. If you have a daisy troop, have them stop and buy a box of cookies from the older girl. If you have older girls, have them create um, like a science fair project board behind them, you know, the trifold. When people come up and say, hey, where's the little girl or where's the Girl Scout? She can then turn and show her life of Girl Scouting behind her. This is me as a little one. These are all the things that I've done in the community. These are the things that I've learned. And now I stand before you, a young member of society. And here are the things that I'm working on. It changes the conversation completely. It inspires her to stand in her truth, but it educates the community around her because our older girls are Girl Scouts and they are changing the world. 
A little note on the cookie is as cookie does, if you're not using a booth you scheduled, please delete it. The why of the cookie is also all about being honest and ethical. It's one of the five key skills. Finding success at your cookie booth, of course, is teaching her about inventory and money management. We have a ton of contests this year for cookies to keep it interesting. Those will drop very soon. Some fun marketing. Decorating your cookie booths really does increase the fun. It increases the eye appeal for people and it draws in more activity at the booth. And there's so many fun things that you can do. I love these. And yes, this is part of the why cookies. You know, if your Girl Scout is going into the retail industry or into the marketing industry, this is marketing. This is part of the whole, you know, how can I reach my goals? How am I learning to maybe constantly be nimble and be flexible to change things to make my curb appeal something that stops a customer? Utilizing your social media platform. Even if you do not want to go outside at all, because again, we don't know what the world has in store for us, utilizing your social media is so important. Our Girl Scouts know how to use social better than we do. They can make TikToks, they can do Snapchats, they can put stuff on the Facebook, they can do a live virtual sale directly from their mom's social media to all the mom's friends. Like there are so many ways to find success. I love this one, Girl Scout Pride and your troop. You know how many cookies your Girl Scouts will have uh, sold throughout the program. Saving some of the cases and doing a photo like this for them at the end of their sale to show them that they reached their goal. It is an immediate and visual example of their hard work. Wearing full uniforms. We know them all about the full uniform. It really does make a difference, but you must be in at least a sash vest or smock and your pin. You can wear a fun t-shirt, but you must be identifiable as a Girl Scout. And this is a new rule for our cookie program. If your troop is unable to afford these things, please reach out to us for financial aid. We will be participating whatever the weather gives us. We of course will update our COVID guidelines as we go, but rain or snow or uh, windy weather, again, that's part of teaching our girls what it is to never give up. Of course, if it does, if our monsoon rains continue throughout the year, we're gonna activate some fun, wacky weather contests. And this is a new campaign we will be using. It is a, again, cookie is as cookie does, a kindness campaign. And this is for you, the adult volunteer. Um, you will be nominating other people that do wonderful things. So instead of pointing out things that people aren't doing so well, or getting other people in trouble. Rather, you know, Mary Sue uh, brought us Thin Mints or Johnny James stayed until our second adult came, lifting up adults around you. At the end of the cookie program, our team at council will be sending a letter with all the beautiful things written about you and your patch. Also, people who nominate will also be receiving these beautiful kindness patches. And in conclusion, almost, in a world of too much, Girl Scouting provides a foundation of self purpose and involves our girls in a multitude of learning activities. Please open your troop for more girls. Cookies matter. It isn't the only thing we do at Girl Scouting. It is the largest program we do in Girl Scouting and certainly the largest girls entrepreneurial program in the world but it's a program that teaches her to believe in herself, to give work ethic, to never give up. The world isn't easy. It's not easy being an adult. I mean, one out of 10 would not recommend, but isn't it incredible the things that we can teach her to give her the skills she needs to be as successful as she possibly can be? Of course it is. Let us help her change her stars and teach her. If you want it, work for it. It's that simple. That's the why of cookies. Thanks so much.